Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about addiction, causes, and consequences. Addiction is a chronic, relapsing brain disease characterized by compulsive drug seeking and use despite harmful consequences. It's a complex condition that does not stem from a single factor, but rather from a dynamic interplay of biological, psychological, and social elements. Understanding this biophysical model is essential to grasp the full scope of both its causes and its severe long-lasting consequences. Let's talk about causes of addiction. The biopsychosocial model. The development of addiction is determined by an individual's vulnerability interacting with their environment. The primary factors can be categorized into three interconnected areas. Biological factors, the bio component. Biological elements accounts for approximately 40 to 60 percent of persons' risk for addiction. First, genetics and heritability. Addiction tends to run in families, suggesting a significant genetic component. Specific genes can influence how a person's brain responds to substances. For example, some genetic variations may affect the speed at which the body metabolizes a substance, influencing how intense or long-lasting effect is. It can determine the number and type of neurotransmitter receptors in the brain, which affects how sensitive a person is to the substance rewarding effects. It may be linked to a predisposition for impulsivity or sensation-seeking behavior. Second, brain chemistry and function. All addictive substances and behaviors directly or indirectly target the brain's reward circuit, centered in the limbic system, specifically the nucleus accumbens. One, dopamine overload. Substances cause a massive rapid surge of neurotransmitter dopamine for exceeding natural rewards like food or social interaction. This surge strongly reinforces the drug-taking behavior. Second, tolerance and adaptation. With the repeated use, the brain adapts to this excessive dopamine by reducing the number of dopamine receptors or producing less natural dopamine. The individual must then use more of the substance or behavior just to feel normal or to avoid the negative state of withdrawal leading to tolerance and physical dependence. Third, impaired executive function. Chronic use damages the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for decision-making, judgment, self-control, and the ability to assess risk. This impairment is what fundamentally changes use from a voluntary choice to a compulsion. Second, psychological factors, the psycho component. Psychological states and individual characteristics play a critical role in increasing the risk of substance use as a coping mechanism. Co-occurring mental health disorders, or otherwise called dual diagnosis. Roughly half of all individuals with a substance use disorder also struggled with the mental conditions such as depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Self-medication. Many people use substances to temporarily alleviate or numb the painful symptoms of an untreated mental illness, creating a cycle of dependency. Second, trauma and adverse childhood experiences. Experiences of abuse, neglect, or chronic household dysfunction in childhood are highly correlated with developing addiction later in life. Trauma impacts 
the brain's ability to regulate stress and emotions, making a person more likely to seek external means of relief. Third, personality traits. Certain traits such as high impulsivity, sensation seeking, poor stress management skills and low self-esteem can increase an individual's vulnerability to experimenting with and becoming dependent on substances. Third, social and environmental factors, the social component. A person's environment, including family, community, and culture, provides the context for exposure and initial use. Family dynamics. An unstable or dysfunctional home environment is a major risk factor. This can include parental substance use. Create a chaotic environment and provide a model for substance use as a coping strategy. Lack of supervision or support. Poor parental monitoring or emotional detachment leaves adolescents vulnerable to negative peer influence. Peer influence and social norms. Especially during adolescence, peer pressure to fit in and Social normalization or glamorization of substance use in a person's immediate social circle significantly increase the likelihood of initial experimentation. Early onset of use. The earlier a person begins using substances, the higher the risk of addiction. This is because the adolescent brain is still developing, particularly the prefrontal cortex, making it more susceptible to the long term disruptive changes caused by drugs. Socioeconomic status and stress. Poverty, unemployment, lack of educational or vocational opportunities and chronic stress can create sense of hopelessness or despair, driving individuals to use substances as a means of escape. The next section is consequences of addiction. The repercussions of addictions are pervasive, impacting virtually every aspect of individual's life and radiating outward to their family and society. 1. Physical and health consequences. Addiction inflicts direct and indirect damage on the body's major systems. Organ damage. Chronic abuse of substance leads to severe health issues. Number 1. Liver disease. Alcohol and inhalants can cause hepatitis, cirrhosis, and liver failure. Second, cardiovascular issues. Cocaine, methamphetamine, and nicotine can lead to heart attack, stroke, and irreversible damage to the heart muscle. Respiratory problems. Smoking drugs, example, crack cocaine, methamphetamine, marijuana, can cause chronic bronchitis, and lung damage. Infectious diseases. Sharing needles significantly increases the risk of contracting and transmitting blood-borne viruses, most notably HIV and hepatitis C. Malnutrition and neglect. Addiction often leads to poor hygiene, lack of self-care, and inadequate nutrition, exacerbating physical health problems and weakening immune system. Fetal harm. Substances used during pregnancy can lead to severe developmental issues including fetal alcohol spectrum disorders or neonatal abstinence syndrome. Overdose. The most immediate and critical consequence is a fatal or non-fatal non overdose which occurs when a toxic amount of substance is ingested, shutting down vital bodily functions, particularly breathing. Second consequences, psychological and mental health consequences. Addiction is fundamentally a brain disease that worsens underlying mental distress, exacerbating existing disorders. Substance use can intensify the symptoms of pre-existing mental illnesses, such as worsening this depression, increasing anxiety, and panic attacks. Drug-induced mental illness. High doses of chronic use of certain substances can trigger psychotic episodes, long-term anxiety disorders, or persistent 
depressive states. Cognitive impairment. Damage to the prefrontal cortex results in difficulties with memory, attention, problem solving, and decision making, which can severely hinder recovery and daily functioning. Increased risk of suicide. The combination of mental distress, hopelessness, and impulsivity significantly increases the risk of suicidal ideation and complete suicide. Social and interpersonal consequences. The pursuit of addictive substance or behavior begins to dominate a person's life, destroying their support network and social stability. Family dysfunction and breakdown. Addiction erodes trust and strains relationship with parents, children, and partners after leading to separation, divorce, and isolation. Children of individuals with addiction are at a higher risk of both abuse and developing their own substance use disorders. Criminal justice involvement. Drug-seeking behavior and illegal acts committed while intoxicated or to acquire funds for substances often result in arrest, incarceration, and lost in criminal record, severely limiting future opportunities. Stigmatization and isolation. The intense stigma surrounding addiction leads to social shaming, marginalization, and withdrawal from social activities, which further perpetuates the addictive cycle. Loss of employment and housing. Impaired performance, frequent absences, and job loss leads to financial instability and frequently homelessness, removing the essential structures needed for a stable life. Finally, economic consequences. The financial toll of addiction is significant, affecting the individual, their family, and the broader society. Personal financial ruin. Spending all personal funds on substances, incurring debt, and loss of income leads to long-term financial devastation. High societal cost. The overall economic burden on society includes healthcare costs, emergency room visits, long-term treatment programs, and managing chronic addiction-related diseases. Criminal justice expenditure. Policing, court costs, and incarceration expenses, loss of productivity, decreased workforce participation, premature mortality, and disability. In summary, addiction is a multifaceted public health crisis rooted in an intricate relationship between an individual's genetic makeup, their coping mechanisms and mental health, and their environment. The consequences are not just a matter of poor choices, but are the direct result of chronic condition that systematically dismantles the physical, mental, and social well-being of the affected individual and those around them. Thank you for watching. Please share this video to others. Please spread the message. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.